must feel just a bit strange for them being the visiting team and still being playing in Tulsa. That's, uh, that's got to be unusual. Here comes the starting guard leading scorer for the Oral Roberts University, number 13, 6'3", Sam McCants, a junior from Pensacola, Florida. At forward, number 25, Dwayne Fox. He's a six-foot, six-inch junior from Inkster, Michigan. The center is 30, Eddie Woods, a four-year starter for Ken Tricky and the Oral Roberts University Titans. He's 6'7", a senior out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. The other guard, six-foot-five-inch Al Boswell. He's a running mate for Sam McCants. He's from River Rouge, Michigan. He's 6'4", a junior. Here's Greg McDougall, the other senior forward. McDougall, six foot eight. He's from the Bronx, New York. Now they're going to have the introduction of the Tulsa University Golden Hurricane, and you hear the reaction they'll get. These Tulsa University fans are incredibly up for this game. We came in in the middle of the junior varsity game, which the TU junior varsity won, by the way, and we felt like we were watching the NCAA Regionals. They wanted that one awfully badly. You can imagine how badly they want this one. But in like manner, the ORU Titan fans are here also. They're cheering for their hometown fans. It's going to be a heck of a game. These are the four senior Hurricane members who will be playing their last home game for Tulsa University. This is forward Stan McLaughlin. He's six foot seven. He's a senior from Tulsa Hale. Again, these are the honorary starters, the four seniors who will be playing their last home game. And one of the most players on the squad. A 6'6", 204-pound senior from Coral Gables, Florida, Robert Compton. This is Rod Compton, 6'6", six six senior from Coral Gables, Florida. Now, the starting five for the Golden Hurricane. Here comes the starting five now for Tulsa University. And all the Surrey Valley Compton player last season, who also represented the Valley on the tour of Brazil last summer, one of Tulsa's leading scorers and rebounders of last two seasons. A 6'9", 204-pound senior from Dallas, Texas. 6'7", senior forward Sammy High from Dallas, Texas. One of the real favorites here at the Fairgrounds Pavilion. All Missouri Valley last year, averaging 13.1 this season. You can hear it. You can see it. The TU fans already on their feet this evening who last season made the Hell's Long American team, who led the Missouri Valley Conference in scoring with the highest average since Oscar Robertson, who now holds the University of Tulsa's single game, single season, and career scoring marks, a member of the District 5 and the United States World University Team All-Star Team, a 6'3". The great All-America from Memphis, Tennessee, 6'3", senior guard, Willie Piles, all-time leading scorer in Tulsa University history. He set that mark last Saturday night at Canyon, Texas against West Texas State. 34 points in that one. Willie Biles. 25 points per game this season. Of course, one of the two or three top scorers in the country last year. This year, he's leading the Missouri Valley, and he's already wrapped up that scoring championship. Willie Biles getting quite a hand. He makes up the fourth senior on the Tulsa University squad. 245 pound junior from Tulsa Central, Zach Jones. From Tulsa Central, the center tonight, six foot eight inch, Zach Jones, a junior. As we said, from Tulsa Central, averaging 7.7 on the season. He's expected to give the Hurricanes some rebounding strength tonight. Another great rebounder from Dallas, Texas, a junior also, six foot seven inch, Ken Grasshopper Smith. He's number 52. He's averaging 14 points even on the year. And the fifth starter, Bobby O'Cressick, the sophomore guard. He's averaging 4.9 on the season. He is six foot six from Elmwood Park, Illinois. So you've got the starting lineups for both teams now. We'll be back with all the play-by-play -play action in just a moment. Thank you. 
tip-off of Super Game number 1. ORU and TU from Fairgrounds Pavilion on Channel 8, KTUL-TV in Tulsa. Zach Jones for TU, Eddie Woods for ORU will jump it up. I've never seen so many smiles on so many faces at, at a jump at the beginning of the game. I think they're nervous. Neither one of them got it, but Miles controls the tip for Tulsa to Oak Crescent. Titans are in the zone. Sammy High underneath misses the shot. Greg McDougald with the rebound and a foul is called on Sammy High. Sammy missed the shot and then went in and bumped into the back of Greg McDougal as Mac came down with the ball. Personal foul. First that personal foul of the game, of course, and it happens within the 12 seconds of the first half. That may have been a very quick tip-off on what the uh, referees think should happen tonight. It's going to be obviously a physical game. Uh, was not a hard hit by Sammy High, but evidently the referees want to establish themselves early. McCants guarded by Biles. McCants scores. Or you goes out in front, and you can hear there is a good contingent of the Titan fans here in Fairgrounds Pavilion. It's two to nothing. ORU leading. We're in the first minute of play. The Titans still in their zone, high from the baseline, a little long. Zach Jones blocked by Dwayne Fox. Miles has it. Zach Jones with the rebound. A whistle underneath, and we're going to have a hard time hearing the whistle today. The foul is on Dwayne Fox on the rebound, and I believe he fouled Zach Jones. That, again, the second personal foul, and the first one, of course, on Dwayne Fox. The Golden Hurricane doing a good job this time down of controlling the offensive boards, and they're really going to have to hit the boards very hard because they're a very physical team and a good rebounding team. Both these teams are, but they've got to get those shots back up there. Zach misses the first of two. He's a 65% free throw shooter on the season. Averaging 7.7 points per game. Gets the second one. Two to one now. ORU leading Tulsa two to one. Dwayne Fox. Four to one now as the Titans take an early three-point lead. Dwayne Fox has been shooting cold of late, only 41% on the year, but that's two out of two from the field for the Titans. Tulsa has Biles and Okresic at the guards. This Grasshopper Smith. Quite a shot in return from the Grasshopper, and we've got quite a game going already. McCants, no good. Zach Jones gets a rebound, but Woods takes it away. Woods shot, no good. McCants with a foul, no good. A whistle and a foul underneath. No basket on the tip in by Dwayne Fox. No basket on the tip in, and a personal foul is called. I think we've got that foul on Eddie Woods, and uh, that's Must one of the things been. that Ken Tricky has to be really worried about because Eddie Woods in a game like this where he's really super up has to worry about getting too many fouls, and the, the bench is going to play an important part for both teams. There's no doubt about that before it's over. High from the baseline over Woods. Sammy High with his first two points, and Tulsa goes out in front 5-4. to four. They've been giving Sammy High that shot. He made him regret it that time. Al Boswell, and a foul is called on Bob Okresic. And as Jim mentioned, there's a little example as to how this game is going to be called, apparently. Tom Hartsfield of the Ohio Valley Conference and Bob Richards of the Missouri Valley Conference are the officials, and they are calling it tight so far. A couple of great guard matchups. Willie Biles and Sam McCants, Bobby Okresic, and Al Boswell. Greg McDougall's shot is too strong. Fox with the rebound, too strong. Okresic with the rebound. Five to four, Tulsa leading. Grasshopper Smith, the foul is called on Al Boswell on Bob Okresic. Boswell coming in, trying to intercept the pass from Okresic to Grasshopper Smith. The first foul on Boswell. We have had a rash of them so far. All right, that's uh, another reason the, they're going to both have to go to their bench because we can expect a couple of these players to get in real foul trouble before the first half even ends because they are calling a close one. Willie Biles, 
scoring champion of the Missouri Valley Conference. Bob Okresik is running mated guard tonight in place of the injured Tim Carson. The Titans still in his own. Biles with his first two points. That's a very important basket for Willie Biles. A lot of people say, as Willie Biles goes, so goes the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. If he can get his shooting going early against a very tough defensive guard, uh, he'll really help his cause. A three-point lead for Tulsa, 7-4. to four. McCants tries to feed it in, and he can't. Guarded by Biles. McCants on the baseline. Sam McCants gets two more, and it's 7-6. to six. A one-point lead now for the Hurricane. 17 minutes and 10 seconds left to play in the first half. Biles down on the baseline. That's his shot. A little strong, however. Greg McDougal is there to McCants. Eddie Woods. McCants from the corner. Too flat. Grasshopper Smith ahead to Okresik. And Tulsa is running underneath the high. Sammy High with a good move. Quite a move by Sammy High, and we're seeing something very unusual. Golden Hurricane definitely outrunning Oral Roberts University. Eddie Woods from the baseline. Eddie Woods scoring over Zach Jones, and it's 9-8. to eight, Still a one-point ball game. A lot, of people, in front. a lot of people thought that perhaps uh, Ken Hayes might try and take ORU out of that running game, but it looks like they're going to challenge him at their strength. So far, the Titans are staying in their zone defense. Tulsa playing man-to-man. Crescent for Smith. And Jim, I think if uh, Tulsa continues to shoot this hot, the Titans may have to leave that zone. Right. Uh, Ken Tricky. Eddie Wood's shot won't fall. Grasshopper Smith with the rebound. Miles behind the back pass to Zach Jones. 13 to 8 now, and Tulsa's gone out in front by five points. 16 minutes left to play in the first half, and ORU wants to slow it down. Boswell guarded by Okresik. At the free throw lane, into Woods. Turnaround jumper by Eddie Woods and a whistle. A foul is called on Sammy High underneath. A That's second on personal two. foul on Sammy. I'll tell you something. These teams, we said, look deceptively loose at the beginning of the game. A lot of smiles, but they've come out and they've had some great shooting, some good passing. That last one by Willie Biles, perhaps the most noticeable, but they're playing real good ball. The kind of game that we hope to see. Good defensively, good shooting. ORU out on the floor. ORU takes a timeout with 15:47 to go. The score: Tulsa 13, ORU 10. We'll be back in just a minute. Seven to go. Tulsa leading Oral Roberts by three points, 13 to 10. The Titans inbounded. Sam McCants. Grasshopper Smith with another rebound, and Grasshopper Smith has been the man on the board so far. Zach Jones loses it to Al Boswell, and the Titans come back. Ken Hayes really counting on Grasshopper Smith to control those boards, and he's simply playing great position. Eddie Woods with a big rebound off of Boswell's shot. No whistle underneath. Traveling is called on Woods. Eddie did not like that call at all. We're going to have a hard time hearing the whistle. So bear with us. We're going to have a hard time uh, hearing each other, as a matter of fact. 
What a great crowd. What a big, great basketball game. Super game one, and it has turned out to be just that so far. Both okay. teams really playing well, Steve. Zach Jones over Eddie Woods. Grasshopper Smith with the tip in, no good. Jones with the rebound, blocked by Fox. Willie Miles gets it for Tulsa on the baseline. Miles can't get it, and McCants comes up with the ball for the Titans. Super defensive play by Dwayne Fox there. Boswell has been cold. Woods tried to stuff it, but he couldn't. Zach Jones with the rebound. So far, ORU has not had the shooting touch. The University of Tulsa has been red hot, and the Titans stay in their zone defense. Now they're in a man-to-man. -man. Miles guarded by Boswell gets a pick. Can't get the shot. Box with a rebound for ORU. Best break to Boswell. Way down court. Great play by Dwayne Fox. He went up over Sammy High to get that rebound. Caught Boswell all alone down court. Threw him the baseball pass. An easy two. We're back to a one-point game. 13-12. Tulsa leading. O'Kresic guarded by McCants. ORU now in a man-to-man. -man. Both teams playing man-to-man -man defense. O'Kresic at the free throw line. No good. Boswell with the rebound for ORU. Ahead to McCants. 14 minutes left to play in the first half. 25-footer by McCants. No good. Miles with the rebound. To Grasshopper Smith. Quite a play by the Grasshopper. That time he simply beat Dwayne Fox down the court. Dwayne Fox uh, just couldn't keep up with him. McDougal from the free throw line. Again a one-point game. 15-14. I'd say neither of them seem overawed by the occasion, Steve. Playing great basketball. It's just what we thought it would be. Fast-paced, hard fought. Okresic, right up by McCants. Biles underneath, can't quite find the handle. You've got to believe if Bobby Okresic could uh, mount some offensive threat, he would be a very important player for the Hurricane. Sammy High on the baseline. And Sammy is hot. 17 to 14. Tulsa goes back out in front by three. That's six for Sammy High. He and Grasshopper Smith leading the scoring now. Each has six. The Titans trying to set up their offense now. Both teams slow things down. Fox loses it. Miles comes up with it for Tulsa. McCants with a steal. Two on one break by the Titans. McCants misses the shot. A little bit of ragged play here. Okresic. To Grasshopper Smith over McDougal, no good. Grasshopper gets the rebound over Fox. He hits it a whistle. A foul is called on Dwayne Fox. Boy, Grasshopper has blood in his eyes tonight. And the basket counts. He missed that first shot, Steve. Went up to get the rebound. Sammy High actually had the rebound. He took it away from Sammy High. Eight points now for Ken Grasshopper Smith. And he will be at the free throw line to try for a three-point play. A five points also lead, 19 to 14. We have 12.35 left to play in the first half. Smith misses Eddie Woods, gets the rebound. And here come the Titans now. Boswell will take a long run. Boswell has finally found a shooting range. I think that's his first, no, his second basket. Four points now for Boz. Boswell and Okresic are really sparring when the Titans come down on offense. Okresic's given Boswell a couple of shots, and Boswell hasn't been afraid to retaliate. Sammy High is open again. Eddie Woods goes up and grabs it, and goaltending is called on Woods. A spectacular play by Eddie Woods with two points for Sammy High. And Sammy High and Grasshopper Smith both have eight points for Tulsa. That was another very important call because, again, the referee away from the basket called that goaltending call. The man under the basket did not, so perhaps they have different viewpoints. McDougal with the shot, no good. Woods with a follow, a whistle underneath, and a foul is called on Zach Jones. That's, That's Zach's two. second personal foul. Now That's number one, we've been told. It is his first personal foul. 21 to 16. Tulsa is leading with 12 minutes exactly left in the first half. Here's Boswell from the corner. And the Titans seem to have found their scoring touch now. 21 to 18, a three-point lead for Tulsa. That's not unusual for Boswell. 47% from about that range all year, averaging over 18 points a game. So he's quite a shooter from the corner. Sammy High, guarded by McDougal. Grasshopper Smith over Dwayne Fox, no good. McCants gets the rebound. A steal by Bobo Kresic. 
Zach Jones underneath. Twenty-three to eighteen. Back to a five-point lead for Tulsa. McCants to Boswell. Boswell will take it. Fox with the tip in. Dwayne Fox way up up the rim. Dwayne Fox right up on Eddie Woods' back that time. If it had been a defensive flurry, he would have been called for charging. But he hit his own man, and he was flying. 11:05 to go in the first half. 23 to 20. As Ocrescent drives the lane, Biles picks it up. Grasshopper Smith comes up with a rebound. I tell you, the Titans are really having trouble with Zach Jones in the middle. He is just controlling that board under there. Even when he doesn't pull it down, he is getting his hand on it. Grass tries to save it. McCants comes up with it. Boswell, short. Sammy High with the rebound. Still a three-point game, 23-20 to 20, Tulsa. A steal by Boswell, but a foul. It's going to be called on Al Boswell. Boy, and Ken Hayes is grateful for that one because Bobby Okresic just simply turned his back on Boswell that time, and the ORU bench did not like the call at all. But Boswell appeared to come in right behind Okresic and cleanly take the ball away from him, but the referee is a lot closer. He called the foul. More action coming up from Fairgrounds Pavilion right after this work. Checking for call for number 40, Alan Blackham. Here he comes to Zach Jones. Official timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, the winning number is a nice Reese Boys free throw sweet face is 9202. The number is on the right side of the center section of your program. The winning number once again, 9202. If you have a number, please report to the scoring table within five minutes. Details are on page 31. Once again, the winning number, 9202. Also, we can report, remember the lights on the club tonight? A red and white oval deal, license ZP3984. A red and white oval, ZP3984, your right draw. with 10 and a half minutes left to play in the game, or rather the first half, a three-point lead for Tulsa, 23 to 20. In the junior varsity game between the two schools, it was played as a preliminary. Tulsa won that game 84 to 73. It was a little closer than the 11-point score indicated, and it, too, had just this same excitement. There was not quite the crowd here, of course, but those that were here were just as involved as they are right now. Tulsa will inbound the ball at front court. Okresic underneath for Sammy High. Started by Woods. Back out to Bobby O'Krensick. It looks like they're trying to keep Eddie Woods away from the basket with uh, Sammy High playing out high and uh, maybe keep Eddie from rebounding. O'Krensick with a great turnaround jumper almost lost the ball and McCants tried to steal it. That's O'Krensick's first basket. And as we said, he could be important if he could score a few. McCants from the free throw circle. In and out. Alan Blackman, who has come into the game, gets the rebound. We've got Alan Blackman in the game. He's being guarded by freshman Anthony Roberts, uh, also just coming into the game during the last time out. McDougal and Zach Jones are out of the game. Sammy High. Nice touch by High. And Tulsa now has taken a seven-point lead with nine and a half minutes to go in the first half. Boswell underneath for Anthony Roberts. Roberts with his own rebound. Woods with a tip in. Eddie Woods gets his sixth point of the night. 27-22 Tulsa now. That was one of the few times the Hurricanes did not box Eddie Woods and the other uh, rebounders out of the way. But they're playing good underneath. Ken Smith. And boy, Grasshopper is really hot. 29-22. Well, the Hurricane is really shooting. We've got them unofficially right now. 12 out of 26. ORU only 11 out of 27. So good shooting from both teams. Dwayne Fox. That's the kind we're seeing. 29 to 24, back to a five-point lead as they take a minute here to get the basket back down from the rim. Steve T.U. also leading in rebounds at this juncture, 18 to 14, and uh, that's what they've got to do. They've got to keep the Titans off the boards, and uh, they're doing a, a great job of it so far. Sammy High and Ken Smith so far, both the boys from Dallas, 10 points each. Ken Smith with the ball, guarded by Fox. Alan Blackman back out to a pressing. 
the hurricane looked to send something out. The Titans now in a man-to-man. Almost stolen away by McCants. High has it. Drives through the lane. And no, it falls out. High gets a rebound, however, as Dwayne Fox went up early. And Tulsa's controlling the basketball. As Jim mentioned, a big key to their success. Stolen by Boswell. McCants finally comes up with it. Ahead to Boswell on the fast break. Oh, pressing. Goes up and slaps it against the boards. And Boy, Ken Tricky is off the bench on that one. Here's High from the baseline. Ken Tricky wants to take a timeout. The Boy, officials aren't looking at him. Ball. Finally, Sammy goes over, and, or rather, Eddie Woods goes over, and Ken Tricky is really upset. Really upset with that call. 8.07 left in the first half. The score, Tulsa 31, ORU 24. And we'll be back at Fairgrounds Pavilion in just a minute. versus Oral Roberts University, a basketball special on KTUL-TV, Channel 8 in Tulsa, Oklahoma. 8.07 to go in the first half, 31-24, Tulsa is leading. Never seen ORU coach Ken Tricky quite as upset as a call as that last block shot by Bob Okresic. He thought it was goaltending. To be honest, Al Boswell took a little stutter step and gave Okresic the chance to catch up with him. Fox's shot is too high. Okresic with the rebound ahead to Biles. Biles over Anthony Roberts. No good. High with the rebound. Blackman comes up with it in the lane. Willie Biles to High over Woods. Woods got a hand on it. Tipped out of there by Blackman, and the foul is on Alan Blackman. He bodied in to Al Boswell, the first personal on Alan Blackman. I'll tell you, Steve, uh, the Titans simply are not getting back on defense. That time, uh, Sam McCants and Eddie Woods were still beyond half court when the Hurricane had the ball down and were shooting it. I think ORU is finding that the University of Tulsa can, in fact, run with them. And uh, so far, Tulsa has had the better of the running game tonight. They're getting those rebounds and just coming out, coming out flying. Boswell gets open, shoots over Old Cressick, a little strong. Anthony Roberts from the baseline. No good. Grasshopper Smith with another tremendous rebound. 31 to 24. Sammy High drives. No good. Biles gets the rebound, puts it up and scores. is dragging and I think we're going to have Willis Collins coming into the game. He is not getting back on offense or defense rather at all. Titan Hurricane are getting those extra shots. Eddie time. Woods with the hook. No good. And the shots aren't falling. Okresik battles for the ball underneath and takes it away. To Blackman. Ba Boswell tries, tries for the steal. McCants knocks it back. Okresik comes up with it again and Bobby Okresik has been a big factor for Tulsa. From the free throw line, no goods. Woods can't get it. It's rolling around free. Grasshopper Smith and Boswell, and a foul is called on Bob Okresik. Now the Tulsa University fans have their chance to complain. And I'll tell you, I have never seen a game called so closely or tightly in my life. It's a loose ball foul. The Titans will inbound it in backcourt. Okresik's second personal foul. Tulsa has a nine-point lead with six and a half minutes left to play in the first half. Greg McDougal comes back into the game for ORU. Dwayne Fox sits down. We've also got Willis Collins and in for Eddie Woods, who simply just looks tired. I don't know story is. Boswell will take it and hits. That's the first one the Titans have had in quite a while. Eight points for Al Boswell, 33 to 26 now. Willis Collins into the game at center. Greg McDougal back in and a forward. Anthony Roberts, the other forward for ORU. Biles to Grasshopper Smith. Guarded by McDougal. 
stolen by Boswell. A hit for McCants. Sam McCants with two points. Great pass by Al Boswell. He simply led McCants perfectly out over the outstretched arm of Bobo Crescent. That's six points for McCants. It's 33 to 28 now. ORU cuts it to a five-point lead. Grasshopper Smith, and the shot was blocked. A foul is called, however, on Greg McDougal. That's Big Mac's first personal foul. Just about everybody has a foul by now. Grasshopper glad to get that call. Uh, in all honesty, I don't think he was too happy with himself from going up where he had. Uh, of course, the ball just a bit, but he's been hot tonight, and uh, you can't blame the man for shooting. He's going to have two from the foul line right now. Mike Dobbins is into the game, replacing Bobby Okresik, who takes a well-deserved rest for Tulsa. Grasshopper Smith at the free throw line, averaging 14 points on the season. He's got 11 already tonight. Smith is a 75% free throw shooter. And he hits them both, 35 to 28. Back to a seven-point lead for Tulsa. This is one of the lowest point totals at this point and a half that the Titans have come up with in quite a while. Good defense by TU. Great Greg. shot by Greg McDougal to put it over Grasshopper Smith. 35 to 30 now. Mike Dobbins who just came into the game for O'Kresic guarded by McCants. Gets a pick from Blackman goes to the baseline. Dobbins driving, scoring. Boy, and they love that point production out of the bench. Mike Dobbins not averaging really very much on the season, 2.4, but he got that one. McCants tip in by Willis Collins. And there's another man off the bench who's only averaging about three a game. Coming through with that one, 3.2, Willis Collins, the transfer from Bay Cone. 37 to 32, Tulsa leads by five, 4.45 to go in the first half. Tulsa's taking their time now with the lead and with the basketball. They're in no hurry. They want to get the high percentage shot. Willie Miles from the free throw line. He hits it. McDougal with the rebound. That ball was below the rim and came back out. To Boswell. Boswell guarded by Dobbins. A little mismatch in height. Anthony Roberts has it knocked away. Loses it out of bounds. It'll be Tulsa's ball. A little bit of inexperience there, showing just a bit, I guess, with the freshman. Uh, four got a little bit flustered when they knocked the ball away. Excuse me, Jim. 4.15 left to go here in the first half of play. The score, Tulsa 37, ORU 32, and we'll be back at Fairgrounds Pavilion. Surprisingly enough, it's been a defensive ball game, Jim. I would say that uh, our suspicions of high-scoring offense have not been that well-founded so far, although the shooting percentages have been well. Good defense has really made this game. Right, I think the good defense is just going to force both teams, which normally take a lot of shots, to turn the ball over more often than usual, and they're not going to get as many up there. And obviously, they don't get as many up, they're not going to score as many, but... Miles' shot is no good. Anthony Roberts gets the rebound for ORU ahead to McCants. See you really doing. Excuse me, Steve. See you really doing the job up up front. Smith and High, 24 points between them. What a play by Willis yeah. Collins. Collins almost lost the basketball, battled it back, got into the circle for the hook, and scored. 37-34, and ORU has cut it to three. Zach Jones getting ready to come back in for Tulsa. That's two straight baskets by Willis Collins, and I think Ken Hayes feels he needs Zach Jones to handle him, maybe. 
Sammy High guarded by Collins. Grasshopper Smith over McDougal. Too strong. Anthony Roberts takes it away from Alan Blackman. Knocked out of bounds by Willie Biles in front of the TU bench. It'll be ORU's ball. And now Zach Jones comes into the basketball game for Tulsa. Big number three, a 240-pounder at 6'8". Giving Sammy High a rest. And High is having quite a ball game. 12 points so far. I don't know how many rebounds, but he's pulled a lot of them down. McCants. Knocked out of bounds by Alan Blackman. It'll be the Titans ball in front court. Three minutes and 19 seconds left to play as you look at Dwayne Fox coming into the basketball game for ORU. 37-34, Tulsa leading by three points. Again, the shooting telling a good story. We've got Tulsa 17 out of 36 from the field, and that's well above their season's average. That's good shooting. ORU 16 out of 40. Tulsa leading in the rebounds, 25 to 20. ORU has not been to the foul line yet. McDougal goes one-on-one -on -one with Smith and hits it. Boy, there's a great matchup. 37-36, now a one-point lead for Tulsa. Two minutes and 57 seconds left to play in the first half. Mike Dobbins brings it down court to Smith. Ken Smith guarded by McDougal. Dobbins out of the corner, a whistle underneath, no basket. A whistle was called and a foul on Sam McCants. His first personal foul at two minutes, and I guess that's 48 seconds left to play. Some of the lights are out on the scoreboard clock. 37-36, Tulsa leads by one. Kind of surprising in the turnover department as Blackman goes to the line as TU now in the one-on-one -on -one situation. TU's turned the ball over five times, and ORU four times. Uh, from the appearance sometimes, it, it seems that both of them have turned the ball over a few more than that. Blackman shot is no good. Zach Jones gets a rebound, and Tulsa wants to set it up, but McCann steals it, a three on none break. Sam McCann puts ORU out in front, 38 to 37. The Titans now by one. And they say that the Titans make the most of their opportunities in the last minute or so. TU giving them those opportunities, not getting the ball up. ORU now out in front, coming back from a big uh, lead by TU. Alan Blackman guarded by Dwayne Fox. In the corner to Dobbins. Dobbins hits over Sam McCants, and now it's a one-point game the other way. 39-38 Tulsa. Two, Two minutes, baskets, ten seconds. From, two baskets from Dobbins, and that's got to be surprising. From Tahlequah, the young man. And a foul on Mike Dobbins, who reached in on the pass from McCants to Boswell. I believe we'll have the Titans, I believe, in the uh, bonus situation also here. Maybe not. Yes, one-on-one. -on -one. 39 to 38. Tulsa leading by one. Another substitution. They've got Boswell Woods. at the line, and he's only shooting 84% from the line for the year. That's not bad. Eddie Woods is back into the game. Anthony Roberts sits down, and now Sammy High comes back into the game for Tulsa. Two minutes and six seconds left to play in the first half. Grasshopper Smith gets a big ovation as he goes to sit down. Grasshopper has been the main man for Tulsa. He and High both have 12 points. Al Boswell at the free throw line for one and one. It's going to be interesting, Steve. Obviously, the, the swear and tear of this game is going to be rough on both squads uh, to watch the coaches jockey one player in as the other team makes a substitution also. Boswell hits them both, and the Titans go back out in front by one point. They're going to play that full court press. Up till now, TU has had no trouble with it, but Biles is not handling the ball. There he is. Biles has it now. Zach Jones gives him a pick. Eddie Woods blocks it. Zach Jones comes up with it, however. Oh, Woods blocked it again. Biles comes up with it. And well, Ken Hayes is really, he's out on the court, and he got a technical foul. Hayes jumped higher than Grasshopper Smith on that one. A what? big technical foul on Ken Hayes, who thought both those were goaltending, and he is really steaming. People at the Fairgrounds Pavilion really seeing an example of how Eddie Woods can jump. They don't like it. Ken Hayes, I thought, was going to charge the referee. They'll shoot the technical foul, but first, let's hear this message.
play as we missed a couple of exciting baskets. The free throw on the technical was missed by McCants, but Boswell and McCants both have hit jump shots to put the Titans out in front by five points. 55 seconds now left to go as Miles shoots. No good, but a foul is called on Al Boswell. That's a problem. Al Boswell, that's his third. He did not want to pick it up. He's got 12 points. He's leading scorer for the Titans so far. He and McCants, as you said, Steve, really coming alive. A couple of really exciting outside jump shots swishing through the basket. McCants now has 10 as both the guards are in double figures. McCants that, shot, excuse me, Jim, McCants shot had to be from 35 feet. Yeah, McCants was quite a shot. As the Titans came down, uh, hit two, or uh, Tulsa University, rather, had one shot at the basket. They missed it. It was Dobbins missing the basket, and the Titans came away on a fast break. McCants got the basket. Zach Jones will get the bonus on the one and one. It's 44 to 40 now. ORU leading Tulsa. That's six for Zach Jones. He's been a strong man in the middle. As we mentioned, that front line for Tulsa University they produced 30 points so far out of 40. No good. Eddie Woods comes down with the rebound for ORU. And now Coach Ken Tricky tells the Titans to go for one shot with 46 seconds left to play in the first half. McCants started by Biles to Anthony Roberts, who came back into the game during the course of the technical foul on TU coach Ken Hayes. Roberts has the ball. McDougal guarded by Sammy High. The Titans holding it, looking for one shot. Woods comes out to the high post. Back to McDougal. The clock is down to 20 seconds. McCants, 16, 15 now. Back to Anthony Roberts. Ten seconds left to go in the first half. Titans with a four-point lead. McDougal will take it. No good. Sammy High way up for the rebound. He's fighting for it and fouled by Eddie Woods. And Ken Tricky is not happy about that foul on Woods as Woods grabs Sammy High on the arm and he points to the clock. Well, you got to wonder about There's that one. one second left. Eddie Woods gives them the chance to go to the foul line and make the easy two points now. That's Wood's second foul, but only one second left. There was nothing that High could have done with that ball, but now he's got a chance to stand there all by himself and make them one-on-one. -on -one. Mistakes in a close ball game like this are the difference, and that could be a costly one if Sammy High can hit both of these. And we've got a ball game. Sammy averaging 13.1 points per game on the season. Misses the first one. Wood slams it down at the buzzer, hits Zach Jones right in the face, but the first half ends. With the score, ORU 44, Tulsa University 40. We'll be back at Fairgrounds Pavilion for a big halftime in just a minute. second half. Steve Zabriskie and Jim Holtzman bringing you the action of Super Game 1 on Channel 8, KTUL-TV in Tulsa. 44-40. to 40. And again, both centers lose the tip. We're going to jump it again. That happened with the opening tip-off, and I guess shows a little bit of the pressure and tension involved. Another interesting statistic, Steve. Uh, Tulsa University really wanted to control the backboards, and they have 27-20 to 20 in the first half. But the shooting percentage, as we said, turning around very quickly in the last two or three minutes with McCants and Boswell going the, leading the way. And uh, ORU almost 46% from the field, and that's fine shooting. The ball was knocked out of bounds by Tulsa. McCants from the baseline. It's short. Willie Biles with the rebound for TU. Biles, as we mentioned, only 2 of 11 from the field for four points in the game. Could be a big factor. Oh, Kresik down. Eddie Woods knocks it away. Goaltending is called on Woods. Eddie went high for that one, and they called it on him this time. Two points for Okresik, 44-42 now. ORU leading by just two points. And Ken Hayes, where he charged off the bench the last time Woods was not called for goaltending. That time came off the bench to applaud the same referee he berated before. Give and go as Boswell comes down. Can't get it, but Woods tips it in. That's eight points for Eddie Woods. He also had seven rebounds in the first half, as did Ken Smith and Zach Jones for the Hurricane. 46 to 44, or 42, rather. Grasshopper Smith fakes Dwayne Fox, looking to get rid of the ball. Okresik has it in the corner. 
Lob pass underneath for high. Knocked down by Eddie Woods. That time they will not call it. And Ken Hayes goes to his knees over on the bench. You can't believe it. Now Willie Biles and Sammy High, the Tulsa co-captains, as you look at Ken Hayes shaking his head in disbelief. Right. He hasn't lost anything on the floor, any change or anything. Uh, he's wanting a call. Sammy High. Nice touch by Sam High. Back to a two-point lead for the Titans. 46-44. Boswell, no good. Biles way up for the rebound. Behind the back pass right in the arms of Sam McCants. Here's a pass to Eddie Woods down the court. Woods all alone. And Willie Biles fouled him as he put the shot in. Willie can't believe it. Again, the referees coming out very quickly and keeping the game tight. Now, Willie Biles did not like that call. Tim Carson is making his first appearance in the game. Willie Biles takes a rest. Carson, of course, has the torn arch ligaments suffered Saturday night down at West Texas State in a game the Hurricane won 72 to 66 to assure them third place in the Missouri Valley. 48 to 44. ORU leads by four. Eddie Woods for a three-point play. That's nine for Eddie Woods now. I'll make it 11. 49 to 44, a five-point lead. Carson moving well on the injured foot. Grasshopper Smith over Fox. And Grasshopper picks up where he left off in the first half. I'll tell you, Grasshopper hitting less than 40% from the, uh, for the year, but uh, that's not the way it is tonight. Five out of nine in the first half. He's got 14. Al Boswell is called for traveling as he tried to put the move on Bob Kressig. Tulsa will get the ball in backcourt. 18-22 left in the game. A three-point lead for ORU. 49-46. I have a feeling it's going to stay close just the entire way. Carson to Smith. It'll fall. 16 points for Grasshopper Smith. And a one-point lead now. A steal as O'Kresic comes up with the ball. Ahead to Carson and McCants takes it away. A whistle, a whistle. The referee is hurt as they stop play. The referee twisted his ankle, I believe, on the steal by Okresik as he tried to change direction. The referee just simply could not get out of the way. We're going to take a timeout here as the official needs a little bit of a rest with a score. ORU 49, Tulsa 48. We'll be back at Fairgrounds Pavilion in just a minute. at Fairgrounds Pavilion where we've got a one-point ball game, something we've had quite a bit. 49-48, ORU leading Tulsa. We might take this opportunity, Jim, before they come back out to run down the scoring at this point. All right, Grasshopper Smith, who has really been hot. He's 7 out of 11 now for the game. He's got 16 points, leads all scores. Sammy High right behind with 14 for ORU. Al Boswell has 12 and Sam McCann's 10. That was their halftime totals. Eddie Wood's been the man in the second half. He's now got 11 points. He's hit five of those so far in the first two minutes. ORU with the ball moving against Tulsa University with 17.48 left to play. McCants. Tim Carson went to the floor and McCants put it in the hole. 51 to 48. ORU leads by three now. Tim Carson, the master of drawing that offensive foul, but could not convince the referee that time. Sam McCants went off of him, got the two. Sammy High on the post. Zach Jones with the rebound. Blocked by Woods. And Ken Hayes is jumping around again. McDougal on the low. A 
and the crowd really didn't like that call, but I don't know. Eddie Woods was way up there. 53 to 48, a five-point ORU lead. 17-10 left to play. Okresic from 22 feet, no good. Zach Jones fights for it. Okresic gets it. Sammy High with the follow. Puts it over Woods for the basket. Sammy High now with 16 points. 53 to 50, ORU by three. The Golden Hurricane, three shots that time. That's McCants. how they got their lead in the first half. McCants rims it. Zach Jones has to knock away and a foul on Greg McDougal. The basket will not count as McDougal fouled Zach Jones from behind. The second personal foul on Greg McDougal. We've got the shooting so far starting to even up again. In fact, Tulsa University a bit better. They're 22 out of 48 from the field for the game. ORU has slipped down to 23 for 51 after being 21 for 46 at halftime. So uh, TU has had a bit the better of it so far shooting in the second half, but they picked up only one point out of that four-point ORU lead. Here's Carson with a 30-footer. No good. Fox way up for the rebound. Dwayne Fox was really skying on that one. 53 to 50. McDougal out of the corner. Big Mac with a beautiful shot. Good shooting night. 50. Greg McDougal having a good shooting night. He's in double figures with 10 now. He's hitting over 50%. Grasshopper Smith foul. rams it in, and McDougal gets another foul. The basket did not go in. This third personal foul on Greg McDougal. We're going to have Anthony Roberts again. It's be interesting to see if he comes in for McDougal, who's been hitting. Yes, he will be in for McDougal. There's the freshman from Chattanooga, the player of the year in Tennessee last year. Anthony Roberts. Grasshopper Smith will be at the free throw line. University of Tulsa trails by five. It's ORU 55, TU 50. Smith will have two shots. This is ORU's biggest lead of the game. And Grasshopper hits the first. He's a 75% free throw shooter. 16-18 left to play in the basketball game. Back to a four-point lead now. And Grasshopper cuts it to three. 18 points for Kenneth Smith and a three-point ORU lead, 55-52. Boswell down in the corner to Anthony Roberts. Inside to Woods. Woods with a turnaround jumper. Nice shot by Eddie Woods. Good soft touch. Eddie Woods has not missed this half. He's three out of three, 13 points. Talking about Grasshopper Smith with the ball. This has got to be one of his best all-around games yet. There's Grasshopper Smith. Too long. Zach Jones gets the rebound. Doesn't go up with it, and Woods really intimidated him on that one. Carson with a 25-footer. Carson doesn't show any ill effects of that injured arch. Here's Boswell driving the lane. Has the shot tipped. No good. McCants tries for the tip. The ball goes out of bounds, and it's off Eddie Woods. It'll be Tulsa's ball. How about that play on Zach Jones? He looked around, found Eddie Woods there. Figured he may not get the goaltending call, and he passed the ball back out. Shades of Bill Russell and the Boston Celtics. And Eddie just had a big smile on his face. We're going to have Willie Biles getting off the bench now. He'll be coming back in. A whistle underneath and a foul is called on Sam McCants away from the basketball. McCants apparently either holding or pushing off. He was holding underneath the basket. Yeah, he and uh, Tim Carson were going at it just a little bit. Carson trying to get position in the lane. McCants not wanting to give it to him. The second personal foul on Sam McCants. Willie Biles comes back into the lineup for the University of Tulsa. And Bob Okresic sits down. There you look at number 12, Willie Biles, Missouri Valley Conference scoring champion. Carson will inbound it. Smith, double team, gets it out to Carson. He'll take the long shot. McCants got a hand on it. Smith with the rebound. Driving the lane. Woods blocks it again. Biles with the follow shot. Willie Miles puts it back in, and boy, Eddie Woods has been blocking some shots. 56-57. Or are you by one? McCants no good. With Miles with the rebound over the much taller Al Boswell. Here's Carson out of the corner. Sammy High with the turnaround follow. No good. Sammy High gets it again. A foul is called underneath on Anthony Roberts. Roberts and Zach Jones were battling for the ball. That is Anthony Roberts' first personal foul. ORU leads by one, 57-56, with 14-55 left to play. Steve, we've got that same situation that led to the TU lead in the first half, and that TU beating the Titans down the court again and getting those two and three offensive rebounds, notably High and uh, Grasshopper Smith. That's going to do it for him. Miles misses. Anthony Roberts gets the rebound for ORU, and I don't know how much longer, Jim, these teams can keep up the pace. 
And they've got to be just a bit ragged, and uh, both teams will be substituting a bit more freely, perhaps. Box shot is too soft. The follow shot by Woods, he traveled. The basket did not fall anyway. Willis Collins comes into the game for ORU. Eddie Woods will sit down. Traveling was called on Woods. And the Titans still lead the Golden Hurricane by one point, 57-56. You can imagine that Ken Tricky would like to keep Eddie Woods as fresh as possible. He kept him out for a couple of minutes in the second, in the first half, and when he came back in, he was really flying. So he's hoping that perhaps Willis Collins can keep up the good work. He had four in the first half. Tim Carson. Carson from Mount Vernon, Missouri. Carson now with four points, and they've both been big baskets. Tulsa takes the lead, 58-57. Carson seems to have fired him up. He's made two long ones. Underneath, Anthony Roberts, no good. The tip by Fox. Wayne Fox with the tip in, 59-58. Or are you out in front, and Fox now has eight points. Carson to Grasshopper Smith. Back out to Carson. To Biles. Gets away from Boswell. No good. Anthony Roberts with another rebound ahead of McCants. Two on one break. McCants takes it into the layup. Right a play by Sam McCants after a great rebound by Anthony Roberts. And he's pulling him down also. He's doing a great job. ORU has gone back out in front by three. The Titans lead the Hurricane 61 to 58. 13 and a half minutes to play. Well, I mean, it's back and forth. Isn't it wild action? If you're loving basketball, you've got to be loving this. A steal knocked away by Willis Collins. Dwayne Fox with the basketball. Wayne Fox coming alive. 63 to 58, and TU wants to take a timeout with the score. ORU 63, Tulsa 58. 13 17 left to play. We'll be back. at Fairgrounds Pavilion. 63 to 58 and a one point ball game is backed out to a five point ball game with the ORU Titans leading the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. We've got quite a game Steve. Uh, ORU has all five of their starters in double figures now. Fox 10, McDougal 10, Woods 13, Boswell 12 and McCants 14. Front court man, the forwards High and Smith 16 and 18 respectively. Willie Biles 3 out of 15 from the field right now. Six points been a big factor but this is a wild one it's going to go right down in the last couple of minutes Tim Carson will take it from 30 feet and Carson is in all but two shots he's taken a foul is called underneath on Willis Collins after the shot the basket will count Carson doing quite a job he's in here he's got three out of four I believe all long range six points you look at little Tim Carson the man with the injured arch from Mount Vernon Missouri and the foul was on Willis Collins, the junior college transfer for ORU from Bacon Junior College, Muskogee. TU a shot at a four-point play as they got the ball back. Grasshopper Smith loses the basketball and his footing. Sam McCants takes it away. ORU by three, 63-60, 12-50 to go in the game. Boswell. McCants off the pick. No good. Sammy High tips it to Grasshopper Smith. And Tulsa has really been on the board. They're beating ORU at their own game. Biles loses the basketball. Box comes up with it. Good play defensively by Al Boswell. McCants and a whistle underneath. The foul is called on Willis Collins again as he bodied into Zach Jones. The second personal foul on Willis Collins. And both of those came right here in the last minute of play. 12.30 left to play. ORU by three. Ken Tricky uh, did not like that foul. He, he agreed that Collins fouled, but he had four men underneath that basket and only one for Tulsa University, so he figured he had the two there, but Collins was pushing off. 
Carson guarded by McCants. Carson will take it again. No good this time. Willis Cullens with the rebound for ORU. Can't get the outlet pass away as TU gets back on defense, and here come the Titans. Boswell guarded by Biles. To McCants. Back to Boswell at the baseline. Boswell got it in there somehow. I don't know how. It looked like he had his arm grabbed, and the shot a, blocked at the same time. What a shot. 65 to 60. 14 points now for Boswell. Biles is double teamed. Tries to get it outside. Back to Grasshopper. Taken away by Fox. Dwayne Fox driving. Carson fouls him from behind. Can't Nothing that Carson could do there. Dwayne Fox had the position on him. Had the sure shot. He made the good play. He grabbed him. Only thing he could do. He'll get two shots though now. 11.43 to play. 65 to 60. The University of Tulsa is trailing ORU by five points. Alan Blackman will come in now as the Hurricane make a substitution. Greg McDougal is into the game, replacing Willis Collins for ORU. Steve, I Anthony Roberts goes out. No, Anthony Roberts stays in. Anthony thought he was going out. Alan Blackman comes in. Zach Jones will take a rest for Tulsa. Steve, I continue to be impressed by the defensive job that Al Boswell is doing on Willie Biles. He, uh, he's getting help from a lot of other players, but he is giving Biles fits and... Uh, has him offensively so far, 14 to 6. And uh, Boswell is a quick, big, good defensive guard. And Biles uh, is having trouble with him now, but he's, you can see the kind of heroics he's come up with late in the game, and there's lots of time left. Dwayne Fox with two shots. He misses the first one. And Fox on the year is a 69.5% free throw shooter. He hits the second one, however. Fox averaging 11 points per game on the year. 66 to 60, 11 points for Dwayne Fox. Grasshopper Smith back to Carson. Again, ORU out by its biggest lead now, six. Sammy High over Eddie Woods. Nice shot by High. Sammy High having a great game. 18 points now. Four-point lead for ORU, 66-62. Fox to McDougal. McDougal got it by Blackman back to Fox off the pick. No good. Biles with the rebound. Willie Biles to Grasshopper Smith. A foul is called on Dwayne Fox trying for the steal. The second personal foul on Fox. And TU is in the one and one situation. That could be a very big factor with 11 minutes still left in this game. If uh, the Golden Hurricane can go to the foul line and cash in on those one and one opportunities. That was the third personal foul on Dwayne Fox. We have 11 minutes, 5 seconds left to play. 66-62. Oral Roberts leading Tulsa with Grasshopper Smith at the free throw line for the Hurricane. There's that all-important first one. Three ORU starters now in a bit of foul trouble. Fox, McDougal, and Boswell all with three, and that could be another story. Kenneth Smith from Dallas, Texas, went to... South Oak Cliff High School in Dallas. Junior college transfer for the Hurricane. His 20th point of the night. And now Smith pulls TU to within two points of ORU. 66-64, McCants. Too strong. McDougal underneath. Has it knocked away. Sammy High trying to get it. Eddie Woods knocks it away. But the foul is called on Woods. Sam McCants complaining there to the referee. You see him, number 13. He's been very unhappy the last two times down with the calls around the boards. That's three fouls on Eddie Woods. That's four of them now with three fouls. Sammy High will get a one and one attempt now. High goes to the line with 18 points. 66 to 64. ORU leads Tulsa by two points. If High were to make the first and the bonus... He would tie it up. 10.52 left to play. Eddie Woods comes down with it. Still a two-point lead for ORU. Boswell. Boswell from 30. What a shot by Al Boswell. He's been bumming him in there from long range. 16 points. He leads the Titans right now. Carson, who was limping with a cane yesterday, is running around on the basketball court. It's the miracle of medicine. Sammy High. And Sammy High has really got the soft touch working tonight. Here's Boswell from the corner. 
I'll tell you, if you're a basketball fan, you are not going anywhere. What a game, 70-66. to 66. They trade it back and forth, high with 20 points now. Boswell, 18 points now. What shooting? Carson on the baseline. McDougal with the rebound. An offensive foul is called on Greg McDougal. McDougal smiling. We told you, Tim Carson. He draws those offensive fouls somehow. That's four on Ken, Greg McDougal. Ken Tricky didn't like it, and uh, the referee had to think about it for a minute. McDougal looked like he didn't agree either. Four fouls, as Jim said, on big Greg McDougal. We have ten minutes and two seconds left to play. ORU nursing a three-point lead as the Golden Hurricane are trying to come back. Say a lot of people divided in their opinion on Tim Carson. What a shot. Grasshopper Smith is unreal. He has been red hot. Here's McDougal underneath. What a Great feed. play by the Titans. 72 to 68, a four-point ball game. Good feed by Sam McCants. He found McDougal all by himself. That's 12 for McDougal. Carson will loft it again. A little strong. The tip comes down to Alan Blackman. Has it knocked away, but Carson controls. Carson looking to get it inside. It goes off Boswell's foot. It'll be TU's ball out of bounds. Boswell with a good defensive play as Biles was breaking underneath all open on the baseline. I'll tell you, Jim, I have never seen either of these two coaches as animated as they are tonight. Oh, they're really up. And uh, how about the front line of uh, TU? Happy high, 20 points. Grasshopper Smith, 22, and the shooting's been phenomenal as well as the rebounding. What a job they're doing. Carson gets it to Blackman, almost, almost lost it. Here's Sammy High. Woods comes out to take him. Smith with the pick. High misses it. Boswell controls for the Titans. Ahead to McCants. Ahead to McDougal. That's the second straight layup on the fast break for the Titans. And Ken Hayes wants to take a timeout. 14 points for Greg McDougal with the score. ORU 74, Tulsa University 68. We'll be back, and you can bet on it. you but I'm beginning to feel numb all over I don't know how much more of this we can take I think my hands are going to sleep it's just a tremendous numbing effect with this tremendous crowd here in Fairgrounds Pavilion tonight you're watching ORU and TU basketball on channel 8 KTUL TV in Tulsa number one in sports in Oklahoma 905 left to go in the game 74 to 68 ORU is leading Tulsa it's the Titans now Steve who are fast been able to fast break the last couple of times down the court. McCants hitting McDougal each time with a good feed as uh, the Hurricane not getting back now. People talk about conditioning in sport, and a game as, as rugged and hectic as this one has been is going to be a big factor. A foul underneath on the shot by Grasshopper Smith. Alan Blackman is called for pushing off. We've got Tim Carson taken out of the game now. He's being replaced by Bob Kresic, but Carson did a good job while he was in there. Uh, good defense and scored six points, uh, mo all of them from long range. That's the second personal foul on Alan Blackman. Eight minutes and 50 seconds left to play. McCants guarded by Willie Biles, and that's been a good matchup. Boswell, who's done the job so far defensively on Biles, is guarded by Okresik. McCants over Biles. Oh, what a shot by Sam McCants. Take nothing away from Willie Biles. He had him covered, had the hand in the face, but you don't stop that shot. 16 points for Sutton Sam McCants. 76-68. Now an eight-point lead as the Titans begin to stretch it out. Tulsa looking to get their offense going, looking to Willie Biles. Here's a whistle and a foul called. A three-second violation 
is called, I believe, on Sammy High. And that's Tulsa University's 13th turnover so far in the game. ORU has only six. The shooting by ORU has really picked up almost incredibly. 35 out of 68 before that last shot by McCann. So they're over 50% now from the field, really hitting in streaks. TU has fallen to 30 for 72 rebounds. TU has a quite a considerable lead, a surprising lead, 47 to 34 over the Titans. Oh, what a shot by Al Boswell over Zach Jones, who just came into the game for Alan Blackman. Jones, a little bit taller than Boswell, three or four inches, went up high, but Boswell just lofted it over him. That's 20 for Al Boswell as he leads the Titans, and they're up by 10 now, Stephen. Eddie Woods with a foul on Zach Jones. Boy, and Eddie Woods did not want to pick that one up. That's four on Eddie Woods, and he doesn't want to leave the game now, but he's going to for favor of Willis Collins. Ken Tricky is not happy with that foul. He felt it was unnecessary, and Willis Collins will come into the game, as Jim mentioned. Yeah, 78, Jones 68. Is, excuse me, Zach Jones, I mean, is no real threat from 40 feet away. And uh, evidently, Woods thought he could get there just quick enough to steal the ball and go down to the layup, but he was a split second late, and that made the difference. He's on the bench now. We have eight minutes and four seconds left to play in the game, and the Titans of ORU are leading the Tulsa Golden Hurricane by ten points. Zach Jones is at the free throw line for one and one. TU's been excellent from the foul line so far, and uh, it's going to be important that they stay that way. He'll get the bonus 78-69 now. Zach Jones with seven points. He's averaging 7.7 on the year. If he makes this one, he'll have his average. And he does. They cut the lead to eight now. McCants. Zach Jones with the rebound. And he's called for a foul this time as he pushed off on Willis Collins. Zach Jones really aggressive that time. He really went up and grabbed that ball. But evidently, he had shouldered, at least in the referee's opinion, Willis Collins on the way up. Zach Jones has had foul problems all year. That is only his second, so Zach is doing a great job of playing good defense and not getting fouled. Boswell's shot. The tip by Willis Collins is no good. Well, Willis Fox Collins controls. way up that time. Fox will shoot it from the free throw line. No good. Biles goes way up for the rebound. Big Six, rebound. 6-3 Willie Biles with Sky. And here's Zach Jones over Collins. In and out. Sammy High with a follow. No good. McDougal and Fox battle for the rebound. Fox gets it to McCants. 78 to 70, ORU leading. Seven and a half minutes to go. Fox out of the corner. Short. Collins. No, it's McCants with the rebound. McCants goes to the floor. Well, he thought he was fouled. TU comes up with the basketball. Bob Okresik driving the lane. Okresik block. What is Collins way up? And Ken Hayes is off the bench again. McCants beating Boswell. Sammy High comes down with it, and Boswell thought he was fouled. This game is getting ragged. Okresik. And no way, no way was Willis Collins going to stop that one as Okresik actually laid it right against the boards. 78-72, now a six-point lead for ORU. Al Boswell nearly had his head taken off that time by Willie Byers. The cats on the give and go to Fox. Okresik with a steal. Okresik from the baseline. Short. High with the follow. Sammy High. 78-74, to and now ORU wants to take a timeout. 78-74 with 6.36 left to play. We'll be back at Fairgrounds Pavilion in 60 seconds. Jim Holtzman back at Fairgrounds Pavilion. 
Tulsa right University has cut the 10-point lead that the Titans were enjoying a moment ago to only four points. 78-74. A couple of incredible turnarounds. We had the uh, Tulsa Golden Hurricane up by a number of points in the first half, about nine. And the Titans came back to take the lead. Now with the Titans up by 10, Tulsa University has fought back. Just it looked like ORU might be taking control of the game, and they're back to within four now. This is the way it was at halftime, a four-point margin for ORU after trailing most of the first half. Very important time down the court for the Titans as they try to get the offense going again. McCants in the lane, no good. Grasshopper Smith way above the rim. Boswell steals the outlet pass. He is so quick. McDougal will take it from about 22. It's off the front rim. Boswell is there to get it again. Boswell really doing the job on the boards, isn't he? Offensively, he just seems to be where the ball is. McCants gets it back to Boswell as the Titans set it up. The Hurricane playing a tight band to man. The pass just gets away from Fox, and Zach Jones comes up with it for Tulsa. Just under six minutes left to play, 78-74. Sammy High at the top of the circle. Now TU wanted to keep that momentum going. Shoots over Fox. It's short. Eddie Woods takes it off the rim. TU fans thought he walked. McCant slows the pace down a little bit. A four-point lead for ORU. McDougal over high. Greg McDougal red hot in the second half, 80 to 74. Big shot by Greg McDougal. He's got 16 points. He's having a fine all-around game, and that was the one that ORU needed to reverse the momentum. Here comes Biles right back, though. All right, Willie Biles getting his touch back, and Biles has not been very effective. That's only eight for Willie Biles. He's about four out of 17. But that was a big one. That was a long one, too, from about 23 feet. 80 to 76. Here's McCants working one-on-one -on -one against Biles. Jump ball is called. I must admit I have a hard time understanding that one because it appeared to me that McCants was moving toward the basket. Now that's, a, that's a difficult one to understand. He was definitely making some sort of progress on Willie Biles, but the uh, referee says he had him tied up. So Tim, don't go up and jump the ball. Tim Carson, Carson comes back, back into, into the game. Cressic. The fans don't like that change, Steve. Well, Cressic sits down to some boos from the TU fans. Biles and McCants will jump it in the ORU circle. McCants gets the tip to Woods. Back out to Boswell as they set it up. McDougal, nice move. Can't hit the shot. McCants fights for the rebound. It comes down to Boswell. There he is. Boswell has been right there at the right time four times in a row. McCants with a steal. You call Boswell garbage man if you want, but he was there. The ball came down to him, and he made the easy two. 22 points on the game now. McCants gets it kicked away from him by his teammate, and a foul is called to McDougal, who got a knee in the forehead. We got Dwayne Fox. It's Dwayne down on Fox, the not McDougal, who goes down as he was fighting for the ball and hit Willie Biles' kneecap with his forehead. Four fouls on Dwayne Fox. Fox is not moving. Glenn Smith, the ORU trainer, is yeah, to him there. That's kind of smart. Right on the base of the forehead. And he went down like a rock. Fox will come out now, and Anthony Roberts will come into the game for ORU. Fox, right now, leaving the game with 11 points. He also has four personal fouls. What a spot for Anthony Roberts, huh, Steve? The, the only freshman out there, and uh, a lot of pressure involved. In fact, he's the only man who's uh, even younger than a sophomore. Everybody else a junior and senior, and he's the freshman. Probably playing one of the most important games of his life. He's got to feel it a little bit, but he's been good so far. Hasn't scored, but he's got about five, six rebounds. Willie Biles will be at the free throw line, and he hits it. Willie's shooting 75% from the line on the year. Willie Biles starting to come alive. He's got nine points. Want to go into double figures with this one. He's the man that could lead the charge. Can't get it. Woods gets the rebound. 82 to 77. O.R. Hugh leads the University of Tulsa by five. Four minutes and 20 seconds left to play. McCants is guarded by Carson now. Double team now by Biles. Anthony Roberts back to McCants. Sam from the free throw circle. Offensive foul is called on Sam McCants. Three on Sam McCants. And Sam There's the man. Great actor, <laughs> Tim Carson. He keeps getting those offensive fouls called. Carson has done that all year long. He's got the quickness to move his body in front of the offensive man and draw the foul. He's the master of it. Good tight defensive player. 4 5 left to play. 82-77, ORU leads Tulsa by five. Biles over Boswell. And 
Willie Biles has really found the shooting touch here late in the second half. He's got 11, and here he comes. Now a three-point ball game, 82 to 79, 350 to play. McDougal got it by high to Anthony Roberts. Back to McCants. McCants at the top of the circle to Boswell. Underneath, McCants has it taken away from him, knocked out of bounds off Sammy High. It'll be ORU's ball, and the Titan fans, or rather the Hurricane fans, naturally do not like the call. Sammy High trying for the steal underneath. McCants, Boswell's doing a good defensive job on him that time. Boy, Grasshopper Smith went up high for that one. He tipped it out to Willie Biles. They can pull within one now, and it's getting louder here. Biles is open. He gets away from Boswell and hits again. He's got the confidence now. I don't think he feels he can miss. He's got 13 points. Tulsa has pulled back to within one point, 82-81. Three minutes and five seconds left to play. McCants trying to get a pick. Back to McDougal who take it from 20 feet. Won't fall. Woods has it knocked away. Grasshopper Smith with the rebound. Eddie Woods could not grab the ball. Sammy High with a two-on-one break. Can't hit it. Zach Jones fighting for it. Biles has the ball. Over Boswell. Grass or Sammy High came in and tried to get it and knocked it out of bounds. It'll be ORU's ball. The Titans leading by one point over the Hurricane with 2.43 to go. What a wild ending we're going to have here. Willie Biles, he had that confidence. He threw the ball up. It was not a good shot, but he's sure been hitting. Got to be one of the greatest basketball games you'll ever see. And now the TU fans are hollering for defense, and the ORU fans are hollering for offense. Boswell's shot, no good. Zach Jones with the rebound. Titans cannot buy a basket. ORU has gone cold, and Willie Biles has turned hot. This place is going to fall apart. TU out in front by one, 83 to 82. McCants driving the lane. Inside for Woods. Woods is smashed to the floor. Double teamed, and a foul is called. I believe on Sammy High. Yes, it is. I don't think there's any question about that foul. That is three on Sammy High. How about Willie question? Biles? Made five out of his last six. He's got 15 points now. Tulsa has taken the lead for the first time here in the second half, 83 to 82. They beat by one. Eddie Woods is at the free throw line. He and Sammy High shake hands. Remember a couple of minutes ago, it was 78 to 68 in favor of ORU. Since that time, ORU has scored 15 it's only four for the Titans. You probably can't hear me, but you can hear the Tulsa fans as Eddie Woods missed the first shot. Two minutes and six seconds left to play. Dwayne Fox coming into the basketball game for ORU, replacing Anthony Roberts. Fox, who was injured, got a knee in the head and had a foul called on him, has four personal fouls. Well, I wouldn't like to be at the line shooting. He misses them both, and Sammy High has a rebound for Tulsa. And those could be very big. Here's See what Tim kind Carson. of a game the Hurricane come out and play now, if they're going to slow it down or what. 83-82, to 82, Tulsa leads ORU by one. Miles is slowing it down a little bit. Pressure defense now. Now what is the call? I guess a timeout. See, so you call timeout. Uh, we thought we may have a jump ball there for a minute, but uh, they Sydney wisely called ball. the timeout. We have a minute and 46 seconds left to play in the basketball game. Tulsa wants to take a timeout. They have the ball. They have the lead, and they are going to try and work to keep the ball for the last minute 46. What a turnaround, as we said. Outscoring the Titans 15 to 4 in the last three or four minutes here, Steve. As Willie Biles has really led it. He had six points when they were trailing by 10. He's got 15 now. So, what an ending for a classic game. Uh, somebody must have written this one. We won't tell you how it ends, though, until it does. <laughs> Nobody knows how this game is going to end. This is probably, as I mentioned earlier, one of the greatest basketball games you will ever witness. We are so proud to be able to bring it to you on Channel 8. I think F.A. Dry said it very well at halftime. They'll be talking about this game for a year. I think he underestimated it. They'll be talking about it for at least a year. What a game. It goes without saying that either team still has the opportunity to win it. And as Jim mentioned only moments ago, ORU had a 10-point lead. Since that time, they have only scored four points. They seem to be in control at that time, but uh, 
TU caught the momentum, brought it right back to him. Titans couldn't make a basket. Willie Biles couldn't miss a basket. They were playing great position on the defensive board. Zach Jones, Grasshopper Smith, and Sammy High. And they were clearing out those Titan rebounders and not only allowing them one shot. Tulsa now trying to get their offense set for the last minute 46. They will undoubtedly try and hold on to the ball. They have a tremendous advantage with a one-point lead and the basketball and the clock in their favor. Ken Hayes has three guards in there now. Bobby O'Kresic taking Grasshopper Smith. No, rather Zach Jones plays. I'm sorry. And they're going to try and stall it out. Tulsa working the weave. Gets it to Biles. We'll see how long it takes the Titans to come out. Biles driving the baseline. Back out to O'Kresic. O'Kresic to Carson. To High. ORU in frustration. Biles has it in the key. He loses it. Eddie Woods comes up with it for ORU. One minute and 13 seconds left to play. Now what now, will they do? Now, will they play for one shot? You would think not. Not trailing by one point. I would not think so. McCants in the lane. Won't go. Woods with the tip. Won't go. Woods is there again. He gets stuffed from behind. A foul is called on Sammy High. There'll be no basket. It was followed up. The basket, there will be no basket. The basket will not count. Sammy High has four, but uh, there's only 15, nine seconds left, so it appears fouls will not play a part in it right now. Eddie Woods at the foul line about a minute ago. Missed two straight chances. He needs one to tie, two to go ahead. And the crowd is not going to be conducive to Eddie Woods shooting a free throw. And he's only a 50% foul shooter on the year. Tough spot to be in for Eddie Woods, but he's a veteran. Four-year starter for the Titans out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. And uh, he went up, got two straight rebounds through the foul. Two great basketball teams in a great basketball game. You couldn't ask for anything more. What a pressure shot that was. 83-83 with 59 seconds to go, and Eddie Woods has one more. If he can block out this noise and concentrate, he's amazing. Made them both. Now it is the ORU Titans who lead by one. 57 seconds left to play. Now I've got the pressure on TU as they come down. Maybe they'll be sorry they tried to salt the game away and steal. Carson with a long one. Tim Carson puts shot. TU out in front. This place is going bananas. 85-84. Tulsa leads by one. 40 seconds left to play. Boswell into McCants. Blocked by Sammy High. McCants gets the ball. Dwayne Fox out of the corner. No good. Oklesic with the rebound. What a shot by Tim Carson. He's got eight points. Now they will try and put the game away. TU leading by one. TU wants to take a timeout with 22 seconds left to play. Tulsa 85. ORU 84. 22 seconds left in Super Game 1. And it has been a Super Game. Well, what will uh, Ken Dricky have him come out and do? Will he wait a couple of seconds and hope for a steal, or will they go for the uh, foul right away? They're in the one-on-one -on -one situation. I think he'll go for the foul. Can't wait too long now. No, the pressure is on him now. 22 seconds will run off the clock very quickly. Two big plays right there. Eddie Woods missing the free throw that would have tied the game. Tim Carson popping one from 25 feet to put Tulsa in front by one point. The Golden Hurricane, a very good team from the foul line, in case you're wondering. Nearly 70% on the year. They don't really have any weak men out there. Sammy High is the weakest of the uh, five on the floor. He's hitting only 65%, but that's not a bad percentage from the foul line. Although Bobby O'Kresic, not playing regularly, is hitting 57%. So perhaps the Titans will try to follow him, but you would have the feeling they will not wait too long. I'll tell you, everybody thought it would be close, and it has been as even a basketball game as you can want. Now the officials are trying to get it straight. Who's in, who's out, and what Tulsa's going to do with the basketball. Now the clock starts, 21 seconds, as Opresic is guarded by Fox. And they, will, they are not falling. Tight, tight, pressure defense, however. Boswell and Woods trying for the steal. Willie Gotta Biles. Gotta get him sometime. Willie Biles still has it. Biles dribbling. What a job of dribbling. The clock is down to six seconds. A foul now is called. The basket will not count. The basket will not count. Six seconds are remaining. I believe they'll give him two shots on they'll, this intentional foul. They call an intentional foul. I'm surprised that the Hurricane waited as long as they did to come out. 16 seconds. Bobby Okresic handled the ball at the very beginning, as we told you, only a 57% free throw shooter. But they didn't touch him. They let him go. 
Tulsa takes a timeout as you look at ORU head coach Ken Tricky, who is rather despondent right now. They've got a great shooter at the free throw line, Bay being Tulsa. There's only six seconds left on the clock, and the University of Tulsa leads by one. Of course, it's Willie Biles, 75% on a year. The man with a little bit of ice water in his veins, as you saw him throw up about four or five long ones and make him right through the basket as the Titans blew that 10-point lead, or more accurately, the Golden Hurricane erased that 10-point lead. Willie Biles must make one of these two free throws. If he does, ORU will only be able to tie the game on a last-second basket. If he makes them both, it will give Tulsa a three-point lead with six seconds to go. ORU will get the ball, but the Titans will have slim chances with just six seconds remaining of even tying the game. I wish we could show you the two different pictures on the Tulsa University bench. They're celebrating already. They're smiling over on the Titan bench. They got their hands and their face, and they are downcast. In the pregame special we brought you between 7 and 7.30, you may have seen the interview with Willie Miles in which he said, there's no extra pressure on me. I feel like just any other night, I'm going to go out there and do my thing. Right now, Willie might not make that statement. How about it? Going for 18 and 8 record, he may be shooting here for an NIT bid as well. The University of Tulsa certainly has a great deal to gain from a win. Biles misses the first one. Now it's the ORU fans who let out with the cheer. Ken Tricky motioning to his crew to call a timeout right after this free throw. Biles misses both of them, and ORU takes a timeout. Now there are four seconds until two seconds, rather, as the ball came off and Eddie Wood rebounded it. Ken, two seconds. Ken Tricky is asking how can two seconds roll off the clock when the man just touched the basketball. The clock does not start until a player touches it, and it went from six seconds to four. Right away. Two seconds, I'll tell you that. We don't want to get into any Russian-USA controversy, but you know four seconds can be a heck of a long time. Especially when you play it over three and four times, like they did in Munich. If you're having a hard time keeping up with the situation as we are, we will now tell you where it stands at this moment. <laughs> four seconds left to play. Tulsa University still leads by one point as you look at the ORU huddle. Now you look at the Tulsa huddle. Titans will inbound the ball. I believe at half court, but the referee is walking back as if they're going to have to rebound it under Tulsa's basket. Yes, they will. ORU was looking to call a timeout to get the ball at midcourt, but the referees are signaling them they have to go back to the end line to inbound the ball, and there are only four seconds remaining. They can really hope for no more than a desperation shot here. Everybody takes a man, and that's the defense. Just keep them from shooting, is all Ken Hayes is saying. Don't foul. They don't want to foul at all. Here's McCants on Boswell. One second, McCants lost it. No good. And Tulsa University has defeated ORU. And you talk about pandemonium. The final score. Tulsa University 85, Oral Roberts University 84. In the probably, my personal opinion at least, the greatest basketball game I've ever seen. It was incredible. I, I don't think anybody could have picked anything any better. And there's Bedlam here on the fairgrounds court. TU team being mobbed by their fans, and it went right, right down to the last minute, as we said it might, and it did. You look at the final score and you see the pandemonium on the court, as of course the majority of fans here in Fairgrounds Pavilion look are at this. Tulsa University boosters, and they are cutting down the net. Shades of the NCAA, I guess the Tulsa fans think that they may have won the, uh, the championship. There are reserves for Tulsa at both ends of the ends of the court. That's Jimmy Bishop who cut down the net on the far end. And I can't say, I think it's Jimmy Edelin there who's cutting down the other net for the University of Tulsa. They are enjoying a very, very sweet victory. Boy, I'll tell you, for the Titans and their fans, a 20-minute bus ride across town will never have seen longer. Well, let's, let's say it right now, both teams played phenomenally well. Neither of them were any better. They played great defense. They played great offense. Neither of them really froze up under any type of pressure. They were just great all game long. I mean, there's nothing you can say about, uh, nothing more you can say about the way they played. It was incredible. We'll be back with some expressions of joy and perhaps some expressions of sorrow, but there is no doubt about it. It was as great as it was billed. Super game one. We'll wrap it up in just a minute. <laughs> 